hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are older thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so over here this is 1080 by 1080 and the resolution is 300 then this is my test document. I'm going to copy this S code over here. Then select a solid color. Ctrl plus V to paste. And these are the resource file I'm going to use. Then import this one. Drag it down. Then click OK. And we are going to change the blending mode to overlay. Then import this one, drag it down also, change the bloody mode, then to linear dodge. Now I'm going to apply a layer mask, then select your gradient tool and blend the top here. Then go back and import this image, then position this one over here, then go to your blur, Gaussian blur. Then and apply this number here 13.9. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, and blend the bottom over here. Okay. Then I'm going to import this image, then drag it up, then leave it at that position, then click OK. Now we are going to change the bloody mode to screen and reduce the opacity to 69%. Now apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool and blend the bottom over here. Alright. Then go back to your resource file and we are going to import the church logo. Then reduce the size. Position it around here. Then we are going to copy our test. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool or use T on your keyboard. For that is the shortcut. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to reduce the space there. It's too small. So adjust it. Then change the fonts. I'm going to link the fonts in the description so you can see the fonts in the test document. So, okay, like this. Now reduce the size. All right. Then copy your test, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. And we are going to copy this font here, align signature. Now go to your font and paste it. Okay, then apply center alignment to, to position it at the center. Then copy this one. Then we are going to select our test tool. Now we are going to change the font to SQL Sans. Then we are going to select the AV one. Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font to white. Now we are going to increase the size. So 
something like this is okay then reduce the character spacing by 14 40 percent increase the size a little now we are going to duplicate this one you can also use the control key that is control plus j to duplicate control plus c to copy select your test to click and apply control plus a to alight it then reduce the font size then hold your shift key while you select the two tests and reduce the characters i mean reduce the fonts now we are going to import this mic and reduce the size then increase it, rotate it, then we are going to increase it again. It's okay. Something like this, okay. Now we are going to change the bloody mode. Then let's see color dodge. Color dodge is okay. They reduce the opacity. No, I'm going to change it. So let it be soft light. Now reverse the opacity to 100%. So color okay like this. Apply your layer mask then and blend over here. So this is the part we need. Then we are going to import this light here. Then you drag it up so that it will be at the top. Reduce the size and position it over here then go to your blending mode and uh, change it to screen now we are going to apply blur gaussian blur then 16.6 it's okay Okay, so I rotate that mic. I think it's okay like this. All right. So then we are going to increase the font. So you can just leave it by 16.6 percent. So we are going to apply a blending option. That is test effect to our test then. Then use chisel hard and the opacity and the depth should be 1 to 6. Then the size make it 6 and the angle then should be 90 or 50 so you can increase it to 19 then here i'm going to make it 70 then you leave the rest then also the contour change it and apply this one over here then also this contour then i'm going to use the second one then apply ok so let's go back we need to apply inner glow and drop shadow then go to your test document to copy this color code then open the fit color a control plus v to paste then also open this fit color here to apply it 
and adjust the size. Then make use of this setting. Now apply a drop shadow. Then we are going to change this one to normal. And the angle make it 90%. Then the distance we are going to change it to 8. Then the spread 6. And the size 13. Now apply it. Then right click to copy the layer style and also right click to paste it over here. You bring this one, then I'm going to position it at the center between the two tests. Duplicate it. Also, bring this one down, something like this. Okay, so now we are going to import this pastor image, then you're going to flip it horizontal. something like this then we are going to select our test then you draw a rent angle at the bottom here We are going to draw another one, reduce the size, then position it inside this one. Change the font, I mean the color to red. Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient to and blend it over here. Then draw a rectangle. Now we are going to make a duplicate of this one. Then change the color. Make a duplicate of it. Bring this one over here. Then also duplicate it and drag it over here. Now import this image. We are going to clip this image in that rent angle. Then right click and create a clipping mask. So also apply the same thing to the rest image. So here is the last one. Right click and create a clipping mask. All right. Oh, 
hold your shift key while we are going to select all this layer then use your arrow key then to move it up now we also group it so that it will be easy for us to move this around so we are going to adjust the light flare then apply the same thing to the to the second one so if you are watching this video please kindly subscribe if you know that you are not subscribed to this video please do subscribe so that you will not miss any of the video So now we are going to input the names. Ctrl plus V to paste. And we are going to change the fonts. Right. Then we are going to reduce the font size. Then duplicate this one. Select your test tool, then come over here to make a copy of this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then adjust it. Now we are going to make a copy of this one. Duplicate it over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select a test tool. Now highlight this one and paste it. Hold your shift key while you select it, then Ctrl plus G to group, or you can use that group icon to group it. All right, so I'm going to leave that test like this. Change the font color to red. Increase the font size, then our position is somewhere around here or here. So now apply a drop shadow, increase the opacity, change the distance to 8, the spread to 6, and the size to 8. Now click OK to apply. Now drag this one up 
and bring the text to the center here. Also, this trumpet, then import it, reduce the size, and we are going to position it somewhere around here, increase the size. And rotate it something like this. Okay. Something like this. All right. So now rasterize this image then and uh, apply camera raw filter from the filter on the menu then follow this setting here to adjust it to your taste something like this okay all right so you can see the changes then we are going to copy the names of the pastor then select your test tool or you can use the shortcut key t ctrl plus v to paste Then I'm going to change the boldness to medium. So medium will be okay. Then make a copy of this one and duplicate this one. Select to alight it and paste it. Control plus C to copy. Then make a duplicate of it. Select the test to highlight this one, then paste it. All right, then change the color. It's okay. Now, also select this one and apply the same color. Okay, hold your sheet key while you select the tests. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. All right. Then import the calendar icon and position it down here. All right, make a copy of the test and paste it. Control plus A to select all and Control plus V to paste. Now increase the size. Right, so it is more bold than before. Then increase it so that it will fit the rest. 
then copy the the months then duplicate sunday and bring it down now we are going to paste the test reduce the font size all right so it is set now now we are going to make a copy for time then hold your shift key while you select this test and use your arrow key then to move it also increase the font size then we are going to import this time icon so if you are still not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified anytime i upload a new video then i like this one and reduce the size of it then increase the size then make a copy of this one and make a duplicate of this one bring it down then select and then highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight now change that test to 9 then adjust the space there so right and the last we are going to copy the location import the location icon reduce the size change the color to black then ctrl plus v to paste open the character spacing all right now we are going to adjust it so okay guys we are almost done so as you can see that is the end of this tutorial please if you like this video subscribe to it then and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video and don't forget to make your order through my fiber account